everyone, this is Jeff P. It is January 11, 2019, and what I'm going to show you now is the lens array fail of epic proportions. The likes no one has seen before except the viewer and the skies. This was sent to me on my email. So let's watch the greatest, most epic lens array fail. The world has ever seen far beyond normal <laughs> let's look and I and there's a video that follows this a series of snapshots so look at the straight rainbow and I'll show you how dark the skies are on this side of the rainbow and the next shot look how dark this is and this is the noonday Sun I mean this is the middle of the day and I think that this is probably even affecting our very atmosphere. Look how cloaked, or this system that's coming in very dark. And just getting darker as a rainbow is so big, it practically looks straight. And then this next shot, which just, look at that. It just takes my breath away. Let's watch the video footage of this. Behold. You can see how they're chemtrailing this as well. Flying. Look at that second light lens on the edge. Every one of those is an edge of a lens. Overlapping lenses. Can't explain that one, could you? You know, what? Like right here. How are meteorologists even to try and explain that one? I mean, what? It's just could have a whole new word for that one, right? You, you, you can't. They're not even going to comment. Those are pretend it never happened right that's what they do it's just beyond explanation except it's a lens array out there let me get into the lens array before I show any more videos because I don't want to confuse some of the new people that are here the lens array first captured on this Australian web camera in July January excuse me July 7th 2016 going on three years ago two and a half years and we could see these overlapping lenses just like we saw in that footage some of you've seen this before some have not but I want to play close attention to see how the red lens petal effect shows the presence of the lens array because it's bending light and not basically the red light comes through but what I want to focus on the most is the how this these lens bisect one another right through the center just like we saw the same pattern we have the smaller ones and we have the bigger ones up front not just on one camera multiple cameras we could see this effect I first thought these were planets and then we see that I'm on this camera this is a different camera it's not as obvious it's kind of a cloudy day and by the way these cameras are now all offline and they have been since July here we can see the one singular lens here and another overlapping one here as well. It's very subtle, makes the sun look bigger than it really is. We've seen, and you could even see the signs of another lens here. We can see this over and over again. In case any for new people, let me show you some of the other footage that we have of the some of the biggest lens array we've ever seen so we could see the effects of the lens from web cameras and pictures showing this thing collapsing from the FAA cameras we see them we see them on the Sun how it affects the Sun absolutely not normal creating a wing effect or how about that how about that for a lens array with a Sun simulator relay system we've shown the footage Look at the set of next set of cameras on this webcam to Mexico. We can see how it's bending and even blocking light. We see the overlapping lenses here. Webcam to Mexico. See how it bisects each other? Look at that. And what do you see what we got next from even video footage of it? From subscribers showing this system coming in. 
again and again it's re it's amazing and look how they like to hide this thing from us so here is the video a series of photographs showing how this thing is literally blocking light so go back and watch my lens array videos for more proof Let's see if I had any more here is a thumbnail of all the ones from around the world from people's cell phones to their cameras whatever it's a uh, pretty amazing next Matt Rogers has got something that is the craziest thing yet again here's some never seen before no explanation let's watch okay this is a very important piece of footage of this kind lady now look at the lens do you see the double lip and we're gonna see this huge shadow following all the way up from the horizon has sent in from Malta. Look at the formation, how it maneuvers like it's being cloaked. It's being covered up of an object. You see how this huge circular object coming down from here to here as it passes in front. This person is a genuine sky watcher explaining through email what is it. And I think, let me stop it here, but this thing I believe is can no longer block the light of the Nemesis star right behind it. And so what we have is a giant planet eclipsing. It's it's a solar eclipse of the second sun. See, this person could see this through view sight. The way it's smudging out as well. Can you see the formation now disappearing? But in the background, you can still see an illumination of a dark object. Mm -hmm. What is it we are exactly seeing on the screen here? Repeating the evidence as well. The start time is at 5.20 p.m. See, I'm going to stop it here. But I also want to point out that this would have happened in broad daylight. That would have these lines would have basically looked like your rainbow, a straight rainbow. And since they overlap one another, and this thing tries to hide, that's going to give us one long straight rainbow all the way across the sky. And the day we see that is we've only got a couple days left before this thing comes crashing through. But let's pl continue playing this. On a time lapse. So why are we seeing this formation appearing like this? through our skies of today in 2019 just another piece of evidence to why this is happening yes so thank you for sending thank this you matt rogers into us of importance from the matt rogers channel so i'll leave links to his channel there as well and i want to show you another uh eclipsing planetary object that happened in uh, alaska or excuse me antarctica the Mawson Station, which C. Fernald channel, YouTube user. I subscribe to him. You should do the same. He did the same catch. Now I've been watching this like a hawk to get a replay of this huge object, which I think there is no lens arrays in Antarctica. They didn't think they need it. They just chemtrail occasionally or a little weather manipulation. Wow. They really... <laughs> Let's see what C. Fernald caught on this particular day. C. Fernald channel. So at the 216 mark, he shows the same thing. Let's see, we'll play a fraction of this video here. Let me zoom this in for you. I had to silence. Don't want to play the music in the background. Might get a copyright strike from the music. So, pretty spectacular catch. C. Fernald, great one, man. I was watching this night and day, and the moment I blink, it happens, and you caught it. <laughs> nice catch then we saw the lens array on he calls a stargate on the mr. mb3 here in this one we could see the magnification effect magnifying the clouds behind it so this could be be levitating with levitation technology it's not far past them now look at the ultra thin lenses and a much long time ago I made a video about these ultra thin lenses by JPL and NASA now why would JPL want to put ultra thin lenses in, in shape light and ultra thin ways and what's NASA got to do with that I mean what, what do they care lenses not made of glass but made of silicon nano pillars arranged in a honeycomb pattern to create a metasurface that control the properties the paths and properties of passing light waves 
Eh, kind of like polarizing light, but what would you get if you had polarizing light that could twisting polarize? I mean, you have circular, you have horizontal, you got vertical polarization. If you got horizontal and vertical on the same, it completely blocks light. So it's shaping light in exotic new ways. And you continue to read this article says can be used for cameras and displays. So there you go. Project Blue Beam displays, right? Fake alien invasion. And many have wondered about the Sun Simulator to help you break through the cognitive dis dissonance of the reality of the artificial sun and attempt to create climate-friendly fuel. Well, that's what everybody's seen this one yet. And if you haven't, here you go. The Germans inventing. Why are they doing this? China, too. Launch an artificial sun into space. From PO website. I'll leave a link for this. And then they also want to build a nuclear barge. It's all. Is it really about energy? Uh, why would they want to put an artificial sun into space? Now, we already know about the artificial star, this plasma, plasma reactor, superheating hydrogen gases to create cold fusion that creates 100 million degrees Celsius. Well, it sounds like they're more interested in heat. Could you imagine something creating that much heat from space? Huh. Maybe the, our sun's not going to create heat anymore or lighting issues. Hmm. Well, it can easily be weaponized to have that kind of power hovering over our skies, wouldn't it? That's one heck of a weapon. And then, you know, our military wouldn't weaponize anything if they have opportunity, would they? Hmm. Makes you wonder, well, how about the artificial moon? When I talked about the moon simulator, well, guess what? China is actually launching a moon simulator in space next year. Why would they do that? To light the night sky so they don't have to save on light. One other thing they could weaponize and zap people who have a low social score. Hmm? What do they plan on doing with this? Light an area of 50 miles and with a very small diameter and low orbit can create an artificial moon. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. And one last thing. Cloaked mothership parked from above England. Really big craft. Yeah, they're up there, folks. You create those fake popcorn clouds. Looks like the shape of a TR-3B craft. They're there to hide the Planet X system and for part of Project Blue Beam and the fake alien invasion. These craft have a cold uh, nuclear fission reactor to superheat water to create those fake popcorn clouds. They quickly evaporate and appear in your skies, very thin layer of them, and you can spot them yourself. Just look for the dark triangular spots or edges in your, next time this cloud system falls overhead, and you can catch the same thing. Well, that's all for now. Uh, yeah, let's watch this video one more time, and... Uh, I guess what I wanted to say was this rainbow. This rainbow that we see all the way across the sky that many have had dreams and visions about. This rainbow going completely across the sky. And that is... If we see that, that's we're within days of this thing dramatically affecting Earth. So, please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day, and see you at the Lord's Supper.